Hi, and welcome to this quick video where I'm going to show you how to upload um, some work, perhaps an exam paper, to an assignment on Teams and have that linked directly to OneNote. So OneNote is a system for your teacher to kind of collect all your work and it makes it really easy for them to have a look at it and to give you feedback. So that's what we're going to be asking you to do. Let's get straight into it. You're going to need um, your phone because I think that's probably how most of you are going to be doing it. I'm going to be showing you which uh, apps that you're going to need. So first thing is you're going to need these three apps down here in the bottom uh, right hand corner. You're going to need OneDrive, OneNote and Microsoft Teams. So before you get started with uh, Teams, you're going to need the exam paper that you've completed. So here's a, a blank exam paper that I've got and I'll just show you how uh, I can scan that. So you're going to use the OneDrive app for this. So you just click, click on OneDrive and then down here in the camera, you just click and you want to make this a document. So here's one page of my document. You can see the kind of blue box going around. You kind of want to get that square. Make sure you're covering the whole page. You click it and that's going to process it and convert it into a document. Now that's just the first page. So I want to press add new and that's just going to add another page to the same document. I turn over and then I do the next page. And then you could do that, keep doing that until you've finished your whole exam paper just as the one document. So I'll just do these three pages. So here at the top, you can see that it says three of three. Oops. Um, so that tells me I've done three pages. And I press done. And I can uh, label that work as whatever I want to do. So I'll do it exam paper. And today's date is 21st January, for example. Okay, and then I just save that, press the tick, and it will save it. And there I've got loads of files in my, in my one that you can just see it's uploading there, but it will be down here. It will be called exam paper. There it is, exam paper, 21st January. I can just have a click on that and just look, check if it's all good. And there it is as one document where I can scroll through. So I've made that as a PDF. Right, now, how to upload. So for this, you need to go to your assignment. Now you can either, uh, no, you can probably find this best on your phone. So go to Teams and I've set up a, a dummy assignment here in my year 13 biology because I actually don't teach year 11 apart from triple science. So if I go into that view assignment there and I look at uh, student view, then this is what the assignment will look like. Your teacher is going to set you this. And you can see there's a link here saying student work, year 11 mock paper upload. So if I click that, it will take me straight to the OneNote app. And it will open up specifically on your page of OneNote. So you won't upload the work to anyone else's uh, page. It'll just be your page. All right, so now you're in your OneNote page. How do you upload the work? Well, first of all, you just click somewhere. Now along here, you've got various options. Now you could upload with the camera, but it's not as good as the PDF. So we'd like you to do it as a PDF, which you've already scanned. So what you just do is you scroll along the bottom here and find this file icon, it looks like a paperclip. Click that, and then you've got to go um, back to all your different places where you've got files stored. So OneDrive should appear here. If it doesn't, there's a little quick troubleshoot, which I'll put on the end of the video. But if it, if it does appear there, you just click it. Uh, and then you go into files. And <clears throat> then you've got to find the file. Now I called it, um, I think I called it exam, didn't I? Exam paper, 21st Jan, there it is. Click that, preparing file. Now this is important, do you do it an attachment or a printout? We want you to do a printout like that because then your teacher will be able to see it actually sort of printed out. Whereas if you do an attachment, it will just be like a little icon like that. Okay, so there it is. Um, that should save automatically, but maybe just leave one that open for a minute or so just to make sure it uploads. Okay, um, that is the end of the video, unless you've got that troubleshoot, uh, in which case stick around for about another 30 seconds. Okay, thanks very much. Right, if you're stuck, if you need that troubleshoot, here's how, how you have to do it. It took me a second to figure this out. Now, sometimes OneDrive won't appear when you um, click down here, if you click, um, what's it called? If you click this little icon, sometimes OneDrive just won't appear there. You'll only have on my iPhone and maybe that's it. So here's what you've got to do. 
you've got to go into, if you've got an Apple phone like I do, then you've got to go into the files app. That's this one here. You've got to click that. Okay, so once you're in there, you'll have these locations up here. Now you want to have OneDrive's location, but if it's not there, here's how you add it. You go to the little uh, blue dots up here, click that, press edit. Now you'll have this uh, pop up here and you'll probably have OneDrive grayed out there. You've just got to enable it. And if you've also got Google Drive, you might want to enable that as well. So now you can access those locations. Uh, press done and it will be there. Then when you go back to your OneNote, uh, let's just, there it will be. Yeah, so there it is, OneDrive, and then you can find the file that way. Okay, all right, so that's the end of the video. Thanks very much and bye-bye.